Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Do you have a Sea-Doo switch? Do you love the front gate, but wish you had some additional access points? Jet Boat Pilot has developed a rear gate kit to turn these rear access points into functional gates. Today we're gonna show you how to install them. Let's do it. So what we're doing to get this gate to actually actuate here, from the factory, your gate comes with this kind of uh, sliding action. It comes with it already on the boat from the factory, but there are two bolts that hold these kind of rails in place. What we've done is we've simply removed the bolts. We've added some brackets. There's one drill operation necessary, and then it just locks in place using these two brackets. So we're gonna show you how to do this install. Probably gonna take you 10 minutes tops. Uh, your kit's gonna come with the two pieces of hardware here that we fabricated here in shop. Uh, it's gonna come with two bolts. It's gonna come with a drill bit. This is a 5.5 millimeter drill bit. It's very important that you use this drill bit and this drill bit only, as well as some Loctite to lock your screws so they don't back themselves out. Also for some tools that you're gonna need, you're gonna need a cordless drill. You're gonna need a T30. This is a Torx 30 to remove the factory bolts. You're gonna need a T25 or a 5.32ds Allen wrench to put in the new bolts. Gonna recommend some sort of tape here. And of course the drill bit comes with the kit. All right, so getting started with our install, let's jump right into it. What you're gonna to wanna to do first is back out the factory bolts. I've already done most of the work for you here uh, to save time here today. We'll take the factory bolts out. Again, that's that T30. We'll take these bolts and set them aside. We will not reuse them. For the first application, or the, the first part, we're gonna do the top one because it requires no drilling. So we'll take our first bracket, back the screw out. We're gonna align this hole with this factory bolt hole. Take your Loctite and break the tip off the end. Put a few dabs on the end of here. It's okay to go heavy on this. I'm gonna go ahead and coat the rest of the threads just to be safe. We just don't want this stainless bolt seizing itself inside this aluminum part here. Now taking our T25, we're going to insert the bolt here, tighten it down until firm. You don't have to crush this thing, just nice and firm. No wiggle, we're good. Let this sit for a few hours, just so it doesn't want to loosen itself up if you're boating. All right, now that we have the top one insecure, uh, we're gonna now work on the bottom. Take the screw that comes with it out of the bottom unit. From the top of this surface here, we wanna place this in place here and we want to have a measurement from the center of this hole to about a half an inch right here on this top. So take your measuring tape, align it where that half inch mark is at the half inch is right there at the center of the hole uh, in that top of that line. This is not a precise measurement, but that's a real good estimate. All right, next, to pre-score uh, your drill hole location, it's important to make sure that this drill bit, that you find the center of this hole. We're gonna make a mark just using the drill bit. I like to kind of come in, find the bottom of the hole, tilt it up just a little bit and just twist. Now that we've made the mark, take our part off take our drill bit you're drilling into aluminum here so you can run this on a high speed if you want find your mark apply some pressure it is really important to get this hole right line my part back up here we're good there We'll get our chips out of the way. A little trick that I've learned with tape. All right, take your bolt. We're gonna put some Loctite on the bolt. Your T25. Begin the process of tightening this down. And remember, this is not threaded, so you're gonna have to apply some force to it. Something that we've noticed on a few switch models that we've installed is these uh, pieces of tubular railing here are not always exactly square with one another. That's not a precision part. So to make this work, sometimes you're gonna have to apply a force uh, of, to basically move this rod more in alignment with this, this upper rod. 
Uh, we had to do that with ours. So what I've done is I've just taken the uh, vinyl here, undone the straps, so now it's independent. And I've taken this and I've just applied steady force until I feel like I've got a, a good bend. I don't want to move it a lot, but we're just trying to force this in a little bit so that these are better in alignment with each other. Then we'll put the straps back on. You may have to do this a couple of times. But this will make it align easier if you're seeing some resistance going into that, that bottom bracket there. So now that I've got it all back together, up, over, and down. And the top goes well. The bottom one is giving me a little bit of a, a rub, but it's nice. It's, it's a nice firm fit. You can also take a small X-Acto blade, bring the camera in tight here. And if you find that you have a little rub, it'll probably be right here in this corner. You can cut out some of that excess material and you may find that that bottom one seats a little better. Well, that is the Jet Boat Pilot Sea-Do Switch Rear Gate Kit. Uh, I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you have any questions about this install, hit us in the comments below. We'd be glad to answer those questions for you. And if you like this video, you're going to love this one.